Hey guys, what is up? It's Safan Aviation here and welcome back to another video. Today, after a long time, I'm doing a video in which I'm speaking in. Anyways, um, uh, first of all, I'd like to start off. I'm back. I'll be doing some more reviews. Airport update will be coming soon. Um, working on the airport, totally uh, changed it again. Uh, I know I've been changing it uh, quite a lot of times for the past few months. But now, this is uh, like the final model. I've got some new grass and stuff, but I'm gonna explain more in the airport update. Uh, when I did a poll on Instagram, this aircraft model won the poll for more, because this aircraft had more votes for the model review. So yeah, I'll be doing the model review of the American Airlines 777-300ER by Gemini Jets. So let's get started with the box first. On the top, here we've got Gemini Jets, made for collectors by collectors. American Airlines 777-300ER, uh, digitalized image. Here we've got American Airlines, the American Airlines logo. Boeing 777-300ER, 12400 scale die cast model aircraft. And then here we've got the look inside tab, in which we'll be looking inside later. So, the rest of the box now. So, on this side, we've got uh, Gemini Jets, 1 to 400 scale die cast model, highly collectible, superior quality, realistic metal landing gear, detailed printed graphic as uh, graphics as real as it gets features. On this side, we've got Gemini Jets, Boeing 777-300ER, the uh, image of the aircraft. 1 to 400 scale die cast model and the item number. On the top, we've got Gemini Jets, adult collectible model. Warning contains small parts not suitable for children under 14 years of age. The barcode. Here, we've got Gemini Jets, Boeing 777-300ER, image of the aircraft, 1 to 400 scale die cast model, and the item number. On the back, we have the American 777-300ER's image on a steep climb. Here we've got the Gemini Jets logo, as real as it gets. Gemini Jets brings you the highest quality precision die-cast metal airliners in highly collectible limited editions with officially licensed markings. Registration marked packaging is personalized to each aircraft to enhance its collectible value. And the, the same traits again and the same traits again and then we've got new aircraft being added monthly with the American Airlines logo there triple uh, seven uh, Boeing officially licensed product made in China 2017 Gemini Jets Las Vegas Nevada USA and then you've got some more details now for the look inside tab So I'm just going to zoom in here, but first we've got the Boeing 777-300ER Litton. Some detail about this 777-300ER. So you can pause there if you want to read that. And now on to this section where you can see the livery American Airlines. Just a moment, I'll just focus this. Aircraft stripe. 777-323ER, construction number, line number, registration, engines 2 into GE90-115Bs, I don't know why it's fo not focusing properly, first flight date, delivery date, empty weight, cruising speed, range and seating. So we've got all of that there and then we've got the length and height of the aircraft and the wingspan here for the aircraft. Here we've got the model inside, the look inside tab. Now on to unboxing this model. So just give me a moment. Yeah, so now on to unboxing this model. So as usual, all the box uh, model companies, this flap, you open the little flaps here and you simply pull out craft model 
and then here simply what you just need to do is just lift this tab up with the plastic uh, the protection layer of plastic here just gonna remove that and keep it on the side just very carefully pick the model up place it here and now we can continue with the review so first looks uh, looks like a very decent and nice model um, I love the American Airlines livery so this was a must have for me uh, I think all American people with American airports should have this and most of them do because American is American American Air, like if it if it's an American airport you need an American Airlines aircraft anyways first we've got the cockpit windows the first entry door the landing gear uh, the American Airlines logo American titles we've got passenger windows and if you can see of the third letter which is AME you've got the second boarding door there and then we've got more passenger windows we've got uh, we've got an antenna at the top then here we have the GE 90 115B engine you've got the emergency exit and uh, see the overwing details here really nice we've got the main landing gear and we've got the wing it's not I don't think it's gonna focus on the wing just a moment I'll try yeah focus so we've got the nice raked wing tip of the triple three and we've got the red navigation light moving on towards the back of the aircraft I'm gonna lower the tripod a bit so we've got a better view yeah that's much better uh, we've got the landing gear as you can see the engine we've got the we've got more passenger windows another exit we've got more passenger windows two antennas and we've, here we've got the registration of the aircraft N721 AN we've got the last exit and the stripes of red and white and we've got the American kind of American flag here which looks awesome you know they've mixed up the stars no stars here but they've like um, what should I say they've just mixed up the white with the blue and it looks very cool actually and then we've got the APU exhaust so now I'm gonna give you views of the front and back so here we go this is a back view so you can see on the wings these details they're super cool and they're very detailed looks really nice and then if I bring the aircraft closer maybe focus on the wing here you can, you can see the details of the flaps and the spoilers very nice because it's engraved into the wing uh, one thing I dislike about Phoenix is these uh, flaps and spoilers the details aren't as visible as Gemini Jets makes them so this is one thing that I love about Gemini Jets now I'll give you a front view you've got the front view here the aircraft looks pretty, pretty cool and if you see into the engines the detail is not bad it's okay not the best but not the worst I've seen much worse and here we've got the other side of the aircraft it's pretty much the same as you can see so what do I think of this model? Well, uh, this model is pretty cool and uh, I think what I've noticed is that it looks really really nice on the airport when it's parked on the gates uh, alongside other aircraft uh, like Delta and United. It merges in, looks pretty cool and uh, I've always liked this American Airlines livery so um, this model was all of course a must have for me um, the price it was $55 um, I got it from Red Caboose models uh, like it's a hobby store in New York City 
uh, you got train models and train tracks and stuff like that but they've got a huge collection of 1 to 400 scale models and a very nice collection um, but I got four from there if you don't know I got this American 777-300ER a United 777-300ER a Delta E350 and a the United 777-200ER um, anyways $55 I think the price is a bit high there um, price is a bit high there but it's okay I could like I got four of them and in total they cost me around uh, $220 which is not bad but not the best price you could get this model at a much lower price I'd say ten dollars um, less anyways this model is really nice really detailed I just love the detail uh, every one of these companies does um, it's just a really nice model and I recommend it to anyone who has an American airport you should get this if people have airports like London and stuff they should also get this because London has a lot of American traffic, um, a lot of American airlines operating there too and I think if um, if somebody has an American airport this is a must have. Anyways guys thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe follow me on Instagram on Safwan Aviation underscore YouTube and uh, get me to 200 subscribers as soon as possible for ASAP. Um, thank you for watching once again and I'll see you guys in other videos. Peace.